I get the bag, I'm serious. All that these haters delirious. At the spot, they producing the cash flow when I'm making appearances. I know they talking all the fuck shit. Hey, what up, y'all? We are back with part 27 of Tales of Rise. And we're gonna pick up where we left off. We gotta go find this dude's mom. You feel me? The nigga. The nigga on the ground right there. We gotta find his mom. Somebody killed him. Or uh, maybe he killed himself. I don't know. But we gotta go find his mama and let his mom know. You know what I'm saying? Somebody left that nigga stinking though. Gotta go let this mom know that somebody left her son stinking. Sorry. So, uh, excuse me, ma'am. I have some bad news. Your son was left stinking. It's your yes. son. He's. It's okay. I know. You do. Then what are you doing? I have to. I what? I have work that must be done today since my son can no longer work. It's like this here right. too, huh? Forget <sighs> about your work. Or better yet, think of tending to your son as your task for today. Very well. I'll go to work. I mean, I get to work. Whatever the hell. How can she think of putting her son to rest as work? Because that's the way people were made to think about. I don't know. Where are we going? Every aspect of their lives. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm tired of hell, boy. I bad by it. I know that, but. That's probably why it's like I she sound so town to take care of her son's body. That's so a little stupid concerning. right now. There's Zoogles Who the hell made all that damn noise? We should follow after her. Yo, shut the hell up. Stinky ass dogs. Yes. What the fuck? Then I'll get started. Bring me some what? fire. I'm about to bring your ass open. Wait, you attend it. Wait, you attend to burn your child? That's right. That's how you do it. <laughs> I don't understand. Wouldn't a more formal funeral uh, procession be more appropriate? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Have I done something wrong? Tell me, do you have no custom where relatives of the deceased may say their final mm -hmm. goodbyes? Not really. How could we have on Dana? Up until recently, our people were too busy toiling away to think of their mm -hmm. rights. Among remnants, it's customary for relatives to send the remains all into the heavens why not introduce such a practice to Dana we believe that I believe that I should stop all this damn reading dog we believe that 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 in doing so the deceased spirit shall join the flow of astral energy that travels the mm -hmm. cosmos we could never do something like that it's the last chance for the bereaved to see their loved ones. This nigga trying to act like he's smart. Big ass words. Surely something should be done to the to honor their money. I mean memory. But that is part of everyday living for us Danes. You really think we're going to ship bodies into space somehow every single day? I simply felt that something more <sighs> ought to be done. When the Renan still ruled over us. Who cares bro? Finish off with the speech my nigga. We didn't even know if it was safe to build grave sites. As bodies decompose, they can spread diseases. We didn't have any choice in how we could bury our people. <laughs> Went well. Don't think. Don't think for a second I've forgiven everything that the Renans did to us. Tell me, Elfin, do you know why none of us have last names like them? I don't give a shit. Let me tell you why. Like, bro, where is the point? You know what I'm saying? Like, why I bring this up, man? We talking about people dying. What the? Who gives a fuck about last names, my guy? Damn. Anyways, man, let me let me tell you why. It's because we outnumbered them, and they denied in our culture to stop us from uniting against them. Mm. Enough. Your people steal so much from us as it is. <sighs> and on top of that, you have the gall to try and make us live like you two. If you hate it here so much, why don't you just turn them all hollow? <laughs> That's enough. Is that uh, it? No more. Uh, Linegas could strike at any time, and here we are fighting among ourselves. We're all well. 
aware of the suffering and hatred we each harbor. But if we're going to coexist, we have to recognize each other. That's what we're all working together to achieve, to bring it in to this whole system and begin to live together side by side. That's what I believe. And that's why I'm here. If any of you think differently, then be my guest and leave. I'll break down every last barrier, even if I have to do it. Um, indeed. I sincerely apologize. I consider you a true friend. But it would appear that I have yet to reckon with our people's dark history. I'm earnest. afraid not. Renwell, I completely accept the blame and all of this. Words cannot express how very sorry I am for clearly offending you so I'm deeply. sorry. I'm sorry for lashing out at you as hard as I did. Pause. Dolahim, I guess I'm still working through a lot of emotions. I know you were only thinking about what was best for her, her son. Greenwell. Whatever. Oh well, I'd like you to teach me the culture and history of this planet. Perhaps that will help us begin to bridge huh? the gap. Huh? Sure, I don't mind. Could you maybe teach me about Renna too? Then <sighs> please. You two are more alike than you realize sometimes. I'm glad we were able to patch things up. We've lost enough good people along the way as it is. Um, oh, don't you start talking too, man. Uh, sorry for the distraction. Let's lay your son to rest. We'll do it the day anyway. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you for granting me that task. Don't mention it. It's the least we could do for you as a mom. Well, because of all you, my son, I mean, whatever, my, my, my son, is at right. peace now. Rest assured that we intend to uh, build a future for this world that would make him proud. God damn, bro. That little speech you gave back there was pretty impressive, Alfin. If you call letting your emotions get the better of you impressive, sure. It made them stop fighting with each other, right? Oh man, I did not want to do this. Man, god damn, bro. Man, kill him. Man, kill this goofy ass motherfucker. Stop jumping around, idiot. Wow. Look what I just found. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna pause it right quick. I'm gonna pause it. Something's eating at you again, huh? I don't know if I would say that. I just... I mean... Actually, I guess I do have one or two things on my mind. My people, we lived in hiding. So we never really experienced the full extent of Renan oppression. Not directly, anyway. After Almadria killed my mother and father, though, I... I guess that's when I started hating them so much. The Renans, I mean. But then I think of all those people who were born into slavery. The ones who never even got angry in the first place because it was all they ever knew. I hear you. Every city we've been to, it's the resistance that gets labeled the troublemakers for having the guts to do the right thing. When it comes down to it, sometimes I wonder which of us really has the better way. You can't let your anger eat away at you, Rinwell. But then again, losing your parents that way. Hell, who could really blame you for it if you did? <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is... Uh, sorry. Hell, it's hard putting this stuff into words. No, I get it. You're saying that grief and anger are different than hatred. I never thought of it like that. But hearing you say it, it makes sense. Thanks, Law. Uh, you're welcome? I think we've helped these people just about as much as we can. They're going to need more long-term aid than we can provide on our own. You're right. 
We need to ask the other realms to send help, and fast. Another reason to hurry and find a way out of Ganeth Haros. Agreed. We'll start looking for a way out tomorrow. For now, we should spend the day resting up while we can. What? What's that noise? Calvin, this is bad! Look at the sky! What's happening to Rena and Lenigus? It looks like Lenigus is transforming? But into what? What's going on? How the hell are we supposed to fight the Renans if they're packing that kind of arsenal? It seems they've broken their silence at last. My concern is that object they've dropped into the water. It's as if they're driving a literal wedge into Dana. Not just into Dana, but her own resistance, too. And what's with that beam of light coming down from above? Got any idea what that could be? Astral energy. Are you serious? All of that is astral energy? But that... It's a lot for sure. Not even all the astral energy harvested by every lord combined compares to that column. They're trying to squeeze every last bit of energy out of the planet. But why? I thought they only needed to harvest astral energy as part of the crown contest. Who cares? If we don't stop it now, the whole of Dana is going to be hollowed into oblivion. Uh, oblivion. Do you think that red woman is behind this? It certainly wouldn't surprise me. Just as the Sovereign, the Maiden, and all five Master Corps are gathered in one location, she appears out of nowhere bearing a sixth core. She then forces the two of you to help her assemble the Renis Alma. Just what kind of person is this woman? You mean you don't know her? Pardon? She was there at your palace, wasn't she? I figured you knew who she was. Are you saying I should be familiar with this woman? Well, sure. I remember seeing her with you back at Adelina Palace several times. Everyone in the Guard always wondered who she was. Now that you mention it, I remember seeing her with Balsif, too. You saw her, right, Shion? Shion? Oh, sorry. I drifted off. As far as I remember, the first time I saw her was when we ran into her in Pelegian. Seriously? How could you two not notice her before? She sticks out like a sore thumb. I guess I always figured she kept an eye on the lords for the Renan top brass. You're sure you don't remember ever seeing her before? I'm certain of it. My memory has never failed me. But if it's not that, then... We'll get to the bottom of this later. Right now, that wedge is a bigger concern. Well, what are we gonna do then? We're not gonna be able to leave Ganeth Haros until we come up with a plan, right? Cislodia lies beyond the northern mountain range. 
Yeah, but we haven't found a single route through those mountains while we've been here. And we haven't gotten clues from any of the freed locals, either. Surely there must be a way through. This realm can't have been completely isolated from the rest of the outside world for 300 years. Volron may have simply sealed and hidden it. Okay, then let's try asking the townspeople again if they know anything. Who knows? We might have missed something the first time around. Sounds good to me. Better that than trying to build a boat from scratch. Let's start searching. That must be Rena's true power. I imagine there would be something, but not to this extent. What's gonna happen now? We ask around. Let's do what we can. Hey, when that wedge dropped down on Dana, did anyone else see any weird light shoot out with it? Indeed. As I recall, it was four lights, each one a different color and going in a separate direction. That's what I saw, too. What were they? Hold on. A lot just happened here, so let's take a minute. For now, let's focus on one thing at a time. I bet the whole of Dan is losing its mind right about now. And just when we'd finished liberating all the realms. So much for things getting somewhere close to normal. It's too calculated. As if whoever's behind all this was watching us. The people of Pelegian seem pretty unfazed given the circumstances. They've yet to get the full range of their emotions back. Maybe it's for the best. Can you imagine the panic otherwise? Yeah. We wouldn't have been able to leave. That's for sure. Whatever Lenegus is planning, it's a fair bet this wedge they've sent down is just the beginning. Even now, they're stealing away Dana's astral energy as we speak. Come on. We don't have much time. Where are these Forland Mountains, exactly? Those are the mountains you encounter if you walk deep enough into the Lavtu marshlands. I don't remember there being any sort of path like that around there. <sighs> Armored soldiers! Some of Volron's former guards. But stick yeah, them out before things get better. I killed all these niggas. Oh, glory unto Volron! Lay down your arms, and no one has to get hurt. Silence! Traitors like you shall never walk free. I knew you were stubborn, but you don't have to be so damn dramatic. Curse! Be still! Don't mind if I do! A wall to shield me. Magic is damn! Your eyes are stormed! Looks like you came to my rescue again. You need to be careful. With the blazing sword and the open sword. Shia. Sorry, but this fight ends here. Now, Asuna! Right! Here, let 
I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I got it on auto right now. Cause I don't wanna fight these bums, bro. You know what I'm saying? These bums. What's yeah, with the hole here? I put it on auto when I fight bones. Is that supposed to be their hideout? Huh? It doesn't look like it's like freshly this in dug, my whatever it is. Maybe it's the entrance to a path to Cislodia. <sighs> Everything all right? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Let's go. I don't know when it happened, but we sure are hauling a lot of stuff these days. I was just thinking the exact same thing. Glad to hear I'm not the only one. We should probably clear some stuff out, like our old weapons we're not using anymore. They must be in pretty bad shape by now. No way. Those are still good as new with a little polishing. If anything, I'd say all our armor is what's weighing us down. But that armor is also still good once you fix it up. Besides, Better to have too much armor than too little. You can trust me on that one. Well, what about all these dumb old antiques we're lugging around? If we sell those off, that should lighten our load. Simpletons such as yourself who can't appreciate the true worth of such things is how precious art vanishes from history. Pretty art's not gonna save you in a fight, man. Stop it, you guys. This is no time to... All I really meant to say is, you can tell how much we've been through by everything we're carrying around. Honestly. That's all. Oh. My deepest apologies. It appears that I may have rather overreacted. Yeah, I guess it's only natural we'd have so many souvenirs by now. I might have been out of line too. I guess all this stuff really is a sign of how far we've come together. Yeah, every little piece is its own treasure filled with memories. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. This place is rather gloomy. Why don't you lighten the mood for us while we're here, then? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Tell me, Alfin, wherever did you learn how to wield a sword? I was wondering the same thing, too, actually. I'm guessing you knew how to fight before you met the Crimson Crows, right? I used to be a soldier who served a Danon master. I never saw the guy's face, but I still fought for him because he was my employer. Looking back, it wasn't all that different from being a slave. A Denon master? That must have been before the Renans brought you to Lenigus 300 years ago. You must fight using real Denon techniques, then. Really? We used to have our own sword arts? There's a lot of our own history we've lost since the Renans first invaded. It's not all magic and art. I'm sure it includes things like sword styles, too. It's incredible, and also a little surreal to see those arts still survive after all this time. Not only that, but I first learned these moves while serving one ruler. Only to end up turning my sword on the ruling class altogether. Pretty ironic when you think about it. I apologize if I dredged up unfortunate memories for you. Nah, we're good. It's in the past now. All we ever did in those days was stir up trouble. You're using those skills for a good cause now. It's not all bad. I suppose this is what people mean when they say that every cloud has its silver lining. Exactly. He's using those sword skills to make the world better. Could be a lot worse. True enough. I will stop worrying about mentioning it then. Oh my goodness. No wonder we couldn't manage to find them. They've been holed up here all this time, hiding. The remnants of Volron's forces. You think they were planning an ambush on Pelegian? Possibly. Then again, knowing how blind their devotion is, maybe they were just waiting. Waiting? For Volron, you mean? Even though we already defeated him? But... Yes, I suppose you're right. 
For these guys, that would just be a technicality. They act more like worshippers than subjects. They're probably still in denial that he was overthrown in the first place. Either that, or they were biding their time until the next crown contest. Either way, their allegiance is to their lord. Who they're convinced and expectant will return. So in the meantime, they wait patiently in preparation for the day that he finally does. That's way more than just loyalty. It's no less than total subjugation. You weak ass niggas. Hi, Hoodle! Yep, I'll let this round auto too. The heavens must be smiling. You've noticed it, haven't you? What? Notice what? I'm referring to Shion. Oh. I I'm never thought how, you of all people how come to me about her. Are. Yes, well, what concerns me has more to do with what machinations may be currently unfolding in secret on Lenigus as we make our way along this tunnel. And you're saying it's related to Shion in some way? Perhaps. She believed there was a good possibility that the Renis Alma may free her from her thorns. One would think after losing the Renis Alma, she would be more dismayed. And yet she isn't. Why? There's also the matter of the power that she inherited from... You heard what she said. She didn't know about the Maiden's power. Mere ignorance does not preclude her deep connection to the events unfolding around us. You recall when her thorns went rampant in Castle Del Faris. I've never seen dark astral energy manifest in such a way. I thought you said all Renans had dark astral energy inside of them. Correct. However, what Xion exhibited was far beyond what any ordinary citizen could ever possibly possess. <laughs> Let me be clear. I do not intend to cast doubt on Xion or her motives. Nevertheless, I cannot shake the feeling that there's more to all of this than what we currently know. Do you disagree? I don't know. To be honest. <laughs> she owns a goofy. That's all I know. Oh my goodness! Look at these weak ass monsters, bro. Oh, hex breaker. What level are y'all? I don't know. Thirty two. Oh, shield from calamity. I shall ensure you survive this. Damn, these niggas dead already? Barely a blip on our radar. It's obvious that people used to go through here in order to get to the other realms. Oh. Think Volron really did seal it off to keep it hidden then? Seems like it. Let me through here real quick. And this Here's one will be difficult to predict. Be careful, everyone. This one isn't normal. Now I'm being interrupted. You fight better at a distance. You and I both. Here is divine why are there so many monsters down here, bro? The weak as hell, too. I'm saying, I don't even have to play. You should not even put the shit on auto. You know what I'm saying? What do you think of that? That's how we do it. From now on, I'm only gonna manual uh <laughs> boss fight. Well look who's in a bright and shiny mood. 
Oh, awakening still. Yo, oh, shut up. Oh Don't my god. Here's a healing arc. Shield from Damn coming away. Very can you take care of them? No sooner. I don't know what they're weak as hell. Leave the enemy's arts to me. You have no complaints here. Sorry, but this fight ends here. Now, Asuna! Right! I don't know what my dude did that. This is just overkill right here. Oh, did he survive that? Rain down and purify all Could have been worse. That probably was another monster. I see I supplies and other signs people were living here. Even Zugal cages. Definitely looks like this is where the remnants of Volron's forces hold themselves up. Yeah. They were hiding in a place like this all along. Yeah, I don't care. Oh, what I care about is getting that though. Yeah, we still gonna auto it though. We still gonna auto. Spanking these niggas. Didn't even break a sweat. Looks like some solid equipment. Me either, bro. I got it on uh, auto. I ain't sweating. Hold on. Oh, what's this? Can go in there. Go with Trump. Oh, I'm not going right away. Fuck it. Don't touch me. If I want to live, don't touch me. What the fuck? Little help. A wall to shield from calamity. I'm not going to Is there gonna be a boss fight, bro? Together, that wasn't even a problem. Anytime soon. Oh, I see. I see light. Hold on. Oh my goodness, something's over there. All right, let me put this on. Uh. Another incantation ruin. Your wings are saving from me. Oh, Damn. Your arts are really incredible. It's thanks to you I can use them. Then I promise I'll always be here. You fight better at a distance. The further away, the better. You and I both. Oh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. 
We're in good form. Okay. What's this? It's over here. This will make us even more formidable. What the fuck is it do? Set boost on enemy defeat. I don't even know what that even means. How much do they have to steal from us to be satisfied? What's that thing's purpose anyway? Some kind of siphon that sends the astral energy the Lord's harvest into Lenigus? Not as far as I'm aware. That said, it has become evident since the forming of the Renis Alma, as well as other recent events, that my insight may be... thin. I would, as I believe the saying goes, take what I say with a grain of salt. No, Halim. At the very least, I believe we can assume that whoever is pulling the strings behind the scenes has had this in the works for quite some time. Why is that? The people on Lenigus may have plenty of resources at their disposal, but not even they could prepare something like that in a mere month. Something of that magnitude takes considerable time, as well as a predetermined goal in mind. Then what was the crown contest for? At this stage, I think it was but one step in the greater scheme we see unfolding before us. What that scheme is exactly, I haven't a clue. For now, I believe we should keep moving. The path continues. It's quite possible it will take us all the way to Cislodia. Agreed. Let's keep moving. So Xion's thorns are dark astral energy. Rinwell. Are you worried about Xion? Of course I am. But I don't know how to talk to her about it. You and me both. Come to think of it, what happened to those four lights that fell from Lenigus along with the wedge? All four of them scattered in different directions. It's anyone's guess where on Dana they might have landed. I'm not entirely sure. But it seemed like those lights may have all been different elements of astral energy. So even though they're using the wedge to siphon off energy from Dana, they're shooting it back down to Dana as well? Why? I don't know. It all happened so suddenly. Hopefully it's not a sign of some new threat we'll have to deal with. But if that red woman has anything to do with the wedge, then what could that light... It's weird, isn't it? Oh? The red woman. Xion and Dohalim said they'd never seen her before Pelegian. Are you saying they're lying to us? No, it's not that I think they're lying, just... There has to be some reason for it, right? Well, one thing the two of them have in common is that they're both Renans. Okay, you two. Put a pin in it for now. I know that we're in the dark about a lot, but for now, let's focus on getting through these mountains. Yeah, of course. Whatever. Alright guys, man, I'm in the video right here. So y'all know what to do. Drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I'm out, man. Deuces. Mm.